everybody, I hope you're all well. Uh, welcome to a new video from me, which is something a little bit different than I've done before. In the past I have, um, I've unboxed things, I have reviewed season, new season collections from different brands which I've then kind of shown you how I'd wear them. Uh, what I haven't ever done is been sent one particular item uh, just to kind of feature in a video that's fashion related. So this was a bit of a challenge for me because traditionally when I've been given things and asked to kind of talk about them it's generally been a traditional blog post where I've kind of styled the item and said you know this is how I would wear it. However, the item in question today I felt warranted a little bit more attention to be paid to it because, and I'll get into a proper description in a minute, but fundamentally it's a little bit more, I guess, sophisticated um, than just a basic coat. So I wanted to try and show it to you properly via a video, um, which I felt would do it more justice than just a sort of blog post saying, here's how I wore it. Um, so first of all, I'll talk about the brand in question. Now, I came across them actually when, when I was in Paris, I was uh, tweeting them and I went and had a look at their website and what they, they do, or they've launched this month, they're a UK based brand and their aim was to create, they describe it as technically sophisticated outerwear, but fundamentally practical coats that are waterproof that actually look good. Now it never occurred to me in the past that all of my coats, and I think I counted them the other day and I have, mm, I probably shouldn't admit this. But I think I have about seven coats, none of which have a hood. Um, now, I don't think this is a conscious decision on my part, it's just that generally mm, I am fairly trend-led on this kind of stuff and I generally buy coats that are obviously warm fundamentally but also that, you know, hopefully look reasonably good um, or sort of trendy at the time. And obviously basic staples such as like a, a Mac or a Parker but also in various different colours. So at the moment I'm sort of wearing quite a bright red coat, which you may have seen in my previous blog post. Um, and I've also got this rather nice dusky pink coat from Marks and Spencers that I've been wearing a lot. Lovely though they are, and I was very much aware of this when we were in Paris, I was the only one out of the six of us that didn't have a coat with them that had a hood. So when we were out and about, and to be fair, we were pretty lucky with the weather for most days, but on the odd occasion when it did start to rain, everyone else was pretty quick to sort of, you know, hood up. Whereas I, I didn't have one, so I ended up sort of trying to scurry around in my bag to find my umbrella, which is fine to do now, but in four months' time, when I have a newborn baby, I think the last thing I'm going to be wanting to do when I'm out with a you know pushchair, baby, all the stuff that such a small person requires to take with you, the last thing I'm going to be want to try and do is push the buggy, find an umbrella, and everything else. So. When I saw this brand and when they talked to me and asked me whether I'd be interested in reviewing and featuring one of their products, I thought actually this couldn't have been, couldn't have come at a more perfect time because it's not something that I own. Um, in the past, this is what I have used when it's been wet. Now, all right, it's fairly compact and convenient to take with you, but it is possibly the most unflattering piece of clothing that I own. And unfortunately there is no zip on it. It is an over the head, concept and it ends up going on, I've just dropped it on the floor, that's really good, um, but it just ends up being put on over a coat, excuse me while I bend down to get it, um, I end up wearing it over my coat so I end up sort of walking around looking like a bit of a yeti monster um, and while it has done its duty over the years and I have had it for the best part of 10 years, um, it's not the most convenient of thing when you're trying to sort of worry about everything else, you think well I've got to pack this but also then in order to get it, if it does suddenly start raining, it's not a quick, a quick like, let me get my hood up, it's all right, let me get out of the bag, quick, let me like do my proper coat up or take that off if it won't fit over the top of it and get this on. And the other thing I was very aware of when we were walking around, because I actually wore it when we were at Disneyland for the morning when it rained, was that the hood sort of, you end up having to pull the drawstrings, you sort of, your peripheral vision is absolutely zero, but at the same time, the drawstrings weren't holding, so every time a gust of wind came, it was whoosh, whoosh, whooshed off my head. Um, and being, you know, a fairly girly girl, I guess, when I've spent some time doing my hair, I should add the caveat, I've only straightened it today, I haven't spent that much time doing anything with it, but if you have spent some time doing your hair, the last thing you really want is for it to be ruined. Uh, we do live in England, it is rainy quite often, so, um, you know, when you even just when walking from the house to the car, you don't want to get an umbrella up just to worry about that. So actually having a coat with a hood is very practical. And I don't own one, that's what I had before. And I think it's fair to say that that is being replaced. Um, so without further ado, this is the item in question. 
Now I have taken some photographs that I will show you later on because I can talk quite a bit about the kind of brand and try and show you and so you can get a more of a sense of a feel of like the fabric of the coat but unfortunately it's not terribly easy to show you really what it looks like in a widescreen format. So I have taken some photographs um, but this is the coat in question. So the brand is called Protective Species. As I said, they launched this month, they launched in March, UK based company and their aim was to come up with, I guess, fashionable, but certainly outerwear that looked as good as trend driven stuff, but it was actually functional as outerwear. So that was waterproof. Um, and this is what they've come up with. Now they've come up with two, two styles so far both very classic this is the parker version they've also got a mac so if you go and have a look at their website it's protective-species.com i'll put links in the information bar below but those are the two style of coats that they have launched with this is in the cobblestone gray color they've also got it in a black and then the mac as well is also I believe in the black color and the gray so if you go and have a look at their website you can find out a bit more about the kind of technology that they use. I won't go into it because I'm no expert at all, but fundamentally their aim was to get a fabric that's, no, that's not only waterproof but breathable. And as I said, wearing that cag in a bag thing, wandering around Disneyland, although it was raining, it wasn't cold. So you end up in this scenario where you're sort of soaking wet on the outside from where it's been raining, but you also feel like you're soaking wet on the inside because you're so hot in this, you know, wearing a coat and then this sort of, like fabric over the top that won't let you breathe, won't let your skin breathe, and you end up, you know, it's just kind of the worst case scenario, really. So you're sort of sweating like buckets inside, and then soaking wet anyway on the outside because it's been raining. Um, but <laughs> without further ado, so so this is the coat. Um, so at the top you've got your drawstrings to help you um, obviously keep the rain out if it is going to start raining around your neck. And the last thing you want to do is be soaking and having all the water running down the rest of you. Uh, it's got your buttons at the top, which I don't know if I undo. Got the zip. So, zip coat. And then on the inside you've got this kind of, again, I don't know how easy it is to see. It's kind of meshy fabric, which is actually really nice and soft. Um, so this is it, this is the brand. I'm hoping that's going to focus, but I can't really see. Um, and also on the inside you have actually got drawstrings for the Parker style. So if you wanted to cinch in more at the waist you can do that. Obviously I'm now six months pregnant so the last thing I want is really anything cinching at my waist. Um, but in the future I'm sure that would be very useful. And same at the bottom, you've also got these little toggles that allow you to pull in the bottom if you wish to do so. Um, on the outside you've got two pockets, both of which have zips, which is incredibly useful if it is, as I say, bucking it down. You've got something that you want to put in your pocket but you don't want to get it wet, like your phone for example. You don't want to risk it falling out if you're going to start running, for example, to get out of the rain. So that's incredibly practical. And then at the top as well, you've obviously got a hood. It does roll back into the collar. So if, for example, you just want to go out and about and it's not looking like it's going to rain, but you want to wear this because it gives you a little bit of extra protection, if it does decide to, you can just pull the coat back in. So you've not got to worry about the um, hood being out and about if you don't want it to be. So that is it. As I said, it is difficult to kind of show you exactly what it looks like, which is why I have gone and taken some photographs. But hopefully it does give you an impression of the quality of the fabric. Now, I actually showed this to some of the girls that came to my baby shower last weekend, and the first thing that they all did, kind of instinctively almost, was to go, you know, was to feel it and go, wow, you know, that really doesn't feel waterproof. And I think that's the whole purpose of this, is that it is waterproof, and I have done my own little experiment, which you'll see in a minute in the photographs, to demonstrate the fact that it is waterproof. Um, but it doesn't look waterproof, so you're not compromising your style by wearing something that's practical. Um, and again, I should also mention the sleeves, which this is a nice little feature that I didn't really appreciate the purpose of until I put it on, which is the fact that the top of it kind of overhangs slightly more so than the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. But it just gives your hands, and certainly if you're wearing watches or anything else, that little bit of extra protection. 
and you also again have the ability to tighten it if you wish so if you don't you're sort of worried that you know if you sort of reach for something it might roll up and you don't want it to do that you have the ability to tighten it um, and it's little things like that that I guess yeah you don't generally think about until you're actually out and about and it is raining and you suddenly think oh you know my hood keeps blowing back or actually my sleeves keep rolling up and I'm getting wet and that's the whole purpose of this and it really is the kind of I don't mean you know I'm not a mum yet but I don't really want to have to give up all of my interest in fashion and style and taste and everything just because I I'm obviously going to be very much focused on somebody else but at the same time you know you've obviously got a lot more kit to think about I mean you're not just going to be able to nip out to the shops in the same way that you can do now but if there are things like this that you can use to kind of make life a little bit easier but also retain some of the kind of style that hopefully I had before I gave birth maybe not but anyway um hopefully uh, then obviously that's that's going to be great and I will look forward to doing it um I'll show you some photographs now of what it looks like when it's on. I should add the caveat, obviously, that I am six months pregnant. So at the moment, um, this is a, I should say, this is a size three, uh, yeah, size three, which is their equivalent to a 14 to 16. Um, generally I'd wear a 14, but obviously the beauty actually of having it slightly bigger at the moment is that I can just about still get it over my bump, but obviously hopefully in four months time that will hopefully start to disappear fingers crossed um, so that won't be as much of an issue anymore and then I'll be able to wear it properly uh, but I will show you hopefully what it looks like on and I will put as I said links in the information bar below so you can go and have a look at their website if you wish but they are also on Twitter etc so I'll put all of those information all of that sorry in the information bar below but just as a comparison so this is what I was wearing before and this is what I will be wearing from now on so that is it for me. I hope you enjoy the photographs <laughs> that you're about to see. And if you've got any questions, then by all means, either leave me a comment in the information bar below, send me an email. Um, and if you've got any suggestions for any kind of future videos you'd like to see, then give me a shout. But in the meantime, I hope you're all well and I will see you soon. Bye.